Let's see everything good. Audio good. Video good. Capture good. Okay. So uh, thank you for checking this out, everyone. Um, I am streaming this, and I'm also going to put this up for video on YouTube. I'll talk about this camera here. Uh, so today we are going to be playing uh, Book It, the pro wrestling promoter card game, which uh, I made. <laughs> this is the Foam Hammer Games channel. Most of the time we're just doing RPG stuff. Um, but I'm actually the creator of this game. Um, the idea of it is that you are running a professional wrestling company and you are trying to um, become the best company in the world, or at least among your friends, after the end of six turns. Um, there's actually a challenge going on right now in our Discord channel where uh, we are a member, Kuakani, uh, decided to write up the rules for Solo League, where you're actually going to try and post the highest score you can under certain conditions. Um, they're going to change from week to week, um, but I figured I would try my hand at it and see how well I did. I don't think I'm going to get the highest score, but I'm going to try my best to get as high as I can. Just a fun league, you know, no prizes or anything like that. So it's just really kind of for bragging rights. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to give my own kind of crack at it. So the concept of the first week is that you have to stay in a specific place. So if you don't know the game, the idea is you pick what kind of promotion you want, so... There's the kind of promotions, there's Hardcore, there's Strong Style, Sports Entertainment, Lucha Libre, Hybrid. You know, those are the five different types of styles, they do different things. And then in addition to that, you are also going to have to choose a place that you want to be in every week. Uh, so normally you would have a, your pick of uh, all of these different venues. Uh, there's 13 in the base game, and then there's another uh, three or four. I love you, bye-bye. Love you, bye. -bye. bye. Wife, everybody probably saw her leg in the background or something uh so you get to choose uh from all of these different venues uh we're just using the base game for the solo league um but the condition of this league um for the first week anyways is that you have to stay in one place for all six turns and that place is montreal so uh again if you're not super familiar with the game this isn't exactly a tutorial um as I'm going along, uh, you know, if people start joining in and asking questions in the chat, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, but it is expected you kind of know a little bit how to play the game. So if you're, like, watching this on YouTube or something after the fact, um, head on over to, you know, either if in our YouTube channel or if you're watching this on, like, the Twitch VOD, head over to our YouTube channel to search for, like, book it. Hey, what's up, Siler? Um... And then you can get, like, uh, the rules and, and, like, a tutorial of how to play and whatnot. We're not going to go through, like, the details of, of all of those because I, uh, I only have, like, an hour or so to play. What's a wrestling? Uh, it, a wrestling is um, a uh, organization where uh, people uh, try and take advantage of other people for very little amounts of money. Uh, and there is a lot of uh, unsavory characters uh, floating around in there. But in between that, there is occasionally some, some fun and, and beneficial things that take place as well. So, Montreal, Quebec, Canada, this is where we have to be every uh, every time, all six turns. So normally we would select our um, our promotion in secret. That would be the first thing we would do to start off the game, but because I'm the only person here, it's a solo game, don't really need to do that. So, if I've got to be in Montreal for six weeks, I really only have two choices, strong style or hardcore, because the benefit of it is hardcore and strong style wrestlers have both styles. So, basically, any wrestler that comes up that is either of those styles... I'm going to have all of the benefits for one or the other. So if I'm a strong style promotion, all strong style and hardcore wrestlers are going to cost less. If I am a hardcore wrestler, then all of my hardcore and strong style wrestlers are going to get a bonus to their work rate, which is going to end up increasing my reputation, my victory points, and also my money flow as time goes by. Uh, I believe that for this particular challenge, I think strong style is the better way to go. Um, I think that the importance of getting a high score is going to be trying to ramp up your early economy as quickly as possible, and that's going to allow me to do so, because strong style and hardcore guys are already pretty cheap. With me having both of them cheaper, I should be able to get guys for a very, very low cost. So we're going to go with strong style for this. We're going to just wipe the rest of these off the face of the earth. We're going to put strong style down there. Montreal, $25 to start off with. Uh, now, for this challenge, you cannot use any of the um, special announcement cards, anything extra from the Gorilla expansion. You can use the wrestlers, though. 
Hey, high volume games. How's it going? So I am going to do that. I'm going to um, use the wrestlers, uh, which I t was tempted to just do them from the base. Despite setting my score with high ground. You know, like, it's 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 a 50-50 toss-up. I, again, this is through no testing or anything beforehand. This is just, like, my gut feeling because I'll I'll discuss my strategy once I, once I get the marketplace set up here. So we're going to shuffle up. I'll use blue for my token. And then we're going to lay up a marketplace here. Um, I guess I could do this in a more convenient spot. Actually, since we're not using any of these, I'll just clear this out. Don't need that. I'll just leave a marketplace out down here. So it's a little bit more appealing. Yeah, like I said, I don't know for sure if that is a box place. Oh, it's probably got the uh, magnetic magnet points for the menus. I'll move these down a little bit. Or I'll move them over here, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure um, if that is the right way to go, but for the strategy that I'm going to plan on working, that is what I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to say that that's going to be better. <laughs> so... And this isn't a great... Like, uh, that's not bad. So the plan I'm going to go with, uh, and one of the... I over-strategized hard. Rules decided I could pick any 15 of each style. The one is Oh, so you like you stack the deck then, <laughs> sort of. Uh, you can, yeah, you could, uh, you can set the fifteen of each or whatnot. Um, I'm just gonna go with everybody. So my strategy here, uh, and for people who are like new to playing Book It, like if you've got the game and you've only played it a couple times, and your like score is pretty low, like you know, ten, twelve, fifteen by the end, and you're like, well, how are these guys putting up like thirty six, you know, thirty point, forty points? Uh, play through the SS and using the base game worked out pretty well, even my score was low. Uh, for those of you who have, like, lower scores um, going in, um, and people are like, well, how do you get, like, these higher scores? Uh, journeyman's. Um, that is the, kind of, like, the, the linchpin of the game. It's kind of, like, the journeyman's in Book It are kind of, like, um, just, like, the element of, like, uh, any other, like, strategic game where it's, like, you need to understand that if you want to, you know, like, really post the highest scores possible. And the reality is that you want to get as many journeymen as quickly as possible. Ideally, you want to have all of your journeymen upgraded by turn two. Um, I'm going to try and get them all on turn one. That's going to be my strategy here. Because I think that with that local... I have to spend my money for my uh, venue, by the way. With that, uh, having that foundation, you can, um, you can ramp up your economy a little bit more. Uh, you can have a more consistent score every round, and you can generate more money a little bit more quickly. And the earlier you upgrade a journeyman, the more return you get from them over the game. Because unlike the wrestlers, the journeymen stay in your deck the whole game. So if you upgrade a jobber to a journeyman first turn, so you paid $3 for that journeyman, but then they give you $2 every round. So $3 for six rounds of $2 is $12. It's a $9 profit. Nine times six is 54. So if you get all of them on turn one, you're going to get $54 of profit, which is already 10 reputation right there. So I'm going to try and do that, but that's going to require me to get four wrestlers for $8, $7, $7, uh, actually maybe five because of the venue. So I'm going to have to try and do this as cheaply as possible. I might be able to pull it off. I think I'll be able to. It's 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 going to be sketchy. So let's just try and get our wrestlers first. And that's the thing is I don't have any... Um, it's a little bit more difficult in solo because you don't have as much of a rotation of the marketplace as you normally would. So if I cannot get six on turn one, I'm going to try and get four and then get like at least one dirt sheet. Uh, not dirt sheet, special announcement. <laughs> I'm going to sabotage myself. Uh, so that's that's my other, my other plan. All right, so first I'm going to go ahead and go with Mary Murder. I'll get her. That's gonna cost me one dollar because of strong style. So then I'm gonna move the mark or the that over here. This over here too. And then we're gonna replace her with Dr. T Prodigy, uh, which is not going to work to my plan here. So we're gonna get mercy healing. It's actually been um, pretty close to a year since I've played this game. Um, I just, I've been working on other stuff, Ooh, Ricky Honda, um, I've been working just on other things and, and just, you know, I've played this game so much, you know, you kind of burn out on it a little bit, um, just playing your own stuff over and over, um, so I'll probably be a little rusty actually, 
And I might make some mistakes here. I don't think I'll make any rules mistakes, but I'm, I'm sure I'll make some strategy mistakes. Uh, all right, so we've got them. Uh, so we've got either Ricky Honda or Bruiser White. I think I'll go Bruiser. They're both going to cost me the same. But Bruiser's a little bit better. He jives up with Mercy Killing. Ricky Honda does match with Mary, but Star Power doesn't match either. I could get, like, a little bit more money out of Ricky Honda. And that will be important the first couple turns. And that could give me the better match there, potentially. Because Bruiser only matches with him. But Ricky matches with her. And if I ran into a journeyman, it wouldn't... It wouldn't give me a synergy bonus, but it would at least... Ah, uh, I'll go with Ricky. Give me cheapo. Mmm, not cheap enough. Alright, so I need $16 to get my jobbers. 20 So... Did I spend enough for that? 20 so... I gotta double check my money here. No, I definitely... It's 1, 2, 3, 4... Yes, I need eighteen dollars. You're right. Oh, and two. I was saying I have seventeen, or I had seven dollars to play with, but I only had five to play with because of the venue. And I think I might have underspent here, and I don't want to cheat. So let me just check this quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I should have one less left here. I should have nineteen left right now. And I can't get anybody for a dollar. So right away, my initial plans are scrapped. It's actually pretty tough. To get uh, six, six, the full six upgraded turn one, I could go and get like five, but I think I'd be better off getting four and a special announcement to try and maybe like get some like if I can hit like a like a like a rabid fans or something like that early on that could be huge. Um, so I think I'd, there's more of a benefit of getting four in the special announcement. Um, so then for my fourth wrestler, and you should only get four. You don't need more than four. Um, so actually let me just upgrade all my jobbers now because this is, I'm going to be picking from this marketplace. So, eight, so if I'm going, uh, six, if I'm doing four, it's going to be $12. So bank, bank, bank. Wait. Four times three is 12. Yeah. $18. Oh yeah. And I still need to get one more left. Okay. So let me just dump that. Here. So then I'll just move for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, six over there. Blurp. And then now we gotta decide. Oh, let's see. Decide who we want for our last wrestler. I don't really want to spend more I guess I could spend a little bit more but do I have probably want bruiser because then I'd have two twos and two threes and there's probably at least a decent chance that I'll be able to uh pair both of them like get get the bonuses the synergy bonuses on both of them so yeah we'll do that I'm gonna do uh, two bucks one two and then for my last, another thing for strategy if you're a new player is that I generally recommend trying to spend as much money as you can in the early couple turns. Like, come as close to spending all of your money as you can. I don't really need another wrestler. Um, oh, filthy Kenny, you dirty bastard. That would have given me, oh man. You couldn't have come out last turn, Kenny. Fine. Um, I don't know. I could, I could get one to just bank and have it. Ah, uh, no, I'm going to save these two bucks, but I'm going to get a special announcement. Let me just make sure these are shuffled. I'm pretty sure they are, but... Whoop. That is worthless. Uh, I don't know if there's a redraw rule on Unreliable Source. Um, if somebody who, who has the league rules handy could let me know. Uh, quick, I'd appreciate that. Because that's literally a worthless card, because there's no dirt sheets to cancel out. But in the meantime, I'll get uh, my roster shuffled up here. Siler's checking. Thank you, Siler. 
It's really good for when you're playing a multiplayer game because you can cancel out bad effects. Now, if I was playing a multiplayer game, I would have gotten a special announcement and a dirt sheet, spent all that money, just because I think you're better off spending all your money the first two or three turns and then um, investing that into your company. Like, it, the early money you spend gives returns. I love this Q Hughes. This is probably my favorite design in, like, the uh, second round of uh, Wrestlers, the Gorilla expansion. Send all these people back. Shuffle it up. And in the meantime, I will draw my opening hand of six cards. I believe it's more of a recommendation to remove them from solo play, but someone can check that. Ugh. Crap draw. Alright. It's what it is. Not a great start so far. Uh, so I'm gonna go... <laughs> So we're going to two journeymans. I'm actually going to pair this journeyman with Mary Murder. Well, uh, I guess I could. Do I want to do the card draw? This will get me. No, I'd rather get the extra one and I'll just kind of come off the top for my last two. I'd rather do it that way. And then just draw these two. Ugh. This is a really bad first turn. And then Bruiser, White. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad first round. Alright, so ticket sales first thing, no money for rep, but at least I will get a little bit of money here for the journeyman that I pulled in, so one, well, actually, I'll just pull in this fiber, and then bring one back for that, and then three bucks for this match, oh, that's annoying, put it on top of here, one, two, three dollars there, this match makes no money, this match makes three dollars, and then that makes makes four dollars. So I've got another seven bucks coming in. So I'll just put a ten down here. One, two, three. Not seeing anything specific about the specials. I'm assuming that he would have. I mean, that's a question that we can that we can make for him, or that we can have for him. Um, but I'll play it as is. I'll just like I I'll just say that I, uh, I ate the booby trap there. So money wise, I've got sixteen bucks to work with. Which ain't great, but now that I've got four journeymen in, it's still, like, tenable. Like, it's not horrible show quality. Uh, so, we're going to have a two-quality match here. We're going to have a two-quality match here. We're going to have a two here. This is at least good. One here, which is disappointing. Do a two here. So, we got nine. So, we got a plus one rep, which is not a big deal, so... We're up to one rep here. Throw these all off. So not the best first turn in the world, but not the worst either. Kind of, kind of aided on the unreliable source, but no biggie. Put all our journeymans and jobbers and stuff back together. So now this turn. Probably going to be a pretty similar strategy. Just get four wrestlers as cheaply as possible. Get my last two journeymen upgraded. Uh, and then maybe try and grab a special announcement and hope it's not an unreliable source. Um, and then go that way. So shuffle these folks up. I got to spend my two bucks from Montreal. So I'll get one, two. So I actually only have, what is it like? $14, and technically I can't even take out a loan. If I was under $15 at the start, I would have been able to take out a loan. I was at $16. So I, like I said, I think I can probably still do what I need on 14 bucks, though. I shouldn't. I'm hoping. We'll see. OMG. Rude. These, this, please stop sending all these blue guys. My, oh my god. Alright. Oh god, it's fucking Rain Dragon. Jaden Prince, at least is oh my god. All right, Whisper. All right, free Georgia Jezebel at least, so that's good. 
Alright. So we have that. I'll spend two bucks on Whisper. Jesus, this is a rough, rough board. Alright, alright, here we go now. Two bucks on Gladiator Lee. Whoop. Ah, I hate Sarah Star, but I'll spend one dollar to get her. Or would I rather spend two bucks on Jaden Prince and get the three? No one has a three work rate. At least Sarah has a one work rate. Yeah, all right, I'll spend the one buck on Sarah Star. Then that that gets me. Actually, that that works out pretty well because then that gets me the two more, the two upgraded, and then a special, and then a special announcement. So six bucks on replacing my last two journeymen and then the last three on another special announcement. but that's actually not bad <laughs> oh jesus no siler we are not we are not doing an eiffel 65 sing-along right now actually did i actually spend the money to get her god damn it I have to go back and count things again. All right, I spent. The, I started the turn with sixteen dollars, just fourteen. So uh, six, zero, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. Okay, that is right. I ho I hope I didn't cheat there, but I'm pretty sure I math I I did the math on that right. There we go. So we get her. Whoa, what the shit? All right. And then my last special announcements. We are gonna whoop. Card subject to change. That could be helpful. All right, that that's good at least. I don't know if I'll need to use it this time around. Although with the the random lucha here, I might. So group. This is turn two. I didn't. This will track. I should use that to keep track. Flip, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Draw my opening six. All right, so we got. All right, this actually works out well. Georgia Jezebel, Sarah Star. They are not perfect synergy, but they have star power and work rate, so that's good. But now Whisper and Gladiator Lee. Bam, and then I draw another four, and then all my journeymen. This, this actually, that was actually probably the perfect turn that I could have with this roster. So don't need to use card subject to change. I can hold that, so that's good. Starting off with thick sales, I do get two dollars for my reputation, and then for Georgia and Sarah Star, we're gonna get four dollars. So throw back a fiver. For Gladiator and Whisper, we're going to get $5. And then for the remaining, we're going to get uh, 4 8 $12 for the remaining matches. So that actually worked out pretty well. So now we're at, what, 23. We're almost back to, back to even after having all of our jobbers and journeymen upgraded. So that's actually, uh, I'm actually really happy with that. Okay. So now we go on to show quality. So figure out the match ratings here. So Georgia and Sarah, that's going to be a two quality because they're one each. They have synergy. Whisper and Gladiator Lee is going to be three. And then the rest of these are going to be two. 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 Another uh, strategy that's, um, I wouldn't say popular, but I've definitely seen amongst my friends is to is to do, is to try and get the, um, the six journeyman play in the opening and then just go Orlando every turn like all six turns uh, and you just end up having like by default like nine quality to start off with and then just try and get like the four like best wrestlers you can to try and get like into like 14 or 15 every turn and that's actually a pretty solid strategy it's a little tough for money but it still doesn't work out too bad so here we have two four six eight eleven Ugh, just in the high end of that I wish we could have gotten one more out of that, but that's okay. So we're still at a plus one. But that's all right. We got some money to work with. We've got 
decent wrestlers, although I do think we're going to need to now start doing more than just the uh, the jobbers and the journeymen at this point um, if we want to start to ramp it up. See, that's where Hardcore has the advantage is because Hardcore, we would have, well, we would have gotten, we would have gotten another point of rep out of Hardcore from that. But the money would have been a little bit tougher to deal with, so we probably would have not have even gotten those matches to begin with. So we're at two rep, 23 bucks. Montreal, spend my money for Montreal. Try my best not to cheat. And then move on to turn three. Loop. Kawasaki, Flash Fury, Mox Ambrosia, Sling Blade, Andy Phenom, Mercy Killing, Shin, Maya, Namor, Aida. Alright, so now, like I said, we do want to kind of shift thoughts a little bit because I don't want to just have four sports center or four signed wrestlers and six journeymen. I can avoid it, which I can now. So I'm going to try and get the best, actually try and book like higher quality cards. So Mercy Killing is a uh, steal at a dollar for a three work, right? So not going to make me much money, but it's kind of thorn. Shadowing on her hands is set far off. It's a little weird. Yeah. Too late now. Uh, we're going to do four bucks for War Kawasaki. If I can get those two together, that'll be a good match. Okay, here we go. Now we got three bucks for Dr. G Prodigy for sure. Blep. Oof. Three bucks for Brian Golem ain't bad either, actually. I mean, because I could get Shin for like seven bucks. Then I'd have just. I'd have six dollars left over, and I'd like to get. I either want to get four or get six. I don't really want to get five. You know, if I'm going to have them, I want to try and get them all out. Or I could just buy more special announcements, although I can only get one more special announcement at this point, because then my hand is locked. I should get Mox, actually. Two, but she's only a two work rate. But uh, she's she's good return for money. She literally, like, she nets a profit. So I guess I'll get her and maybe hope something else comes up. Apollo Contra. So we've got ten bucks left. Can I get two more on seven? That'll be, like, decent. I could get Maya to try and pair with Mox. It's a little risky play, but... I really don't think getting Shin's a good idea. I could get Brian to try and pair with Prodigy. It's basically the same risk. But it's $1 more expensive. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. So we'll get Brian Golem. We'll get back $7. I really don't like I really don't like him being in there. Bill Krieg is too expensive. So now we've got two threes, we've got two fours. Unfortunately, I can't find, I don't have a strong style or a hardcore two to work with. So I'm going to buy a special announcement and like hope I luck into convention weekend or something like that. One, two, draw. Intermission raffle. Okay, well at least it's going to get us a little extra money. But that's not going to help us here. I guess then... Uh, so now I got four bucks to spend. I could get Kai to Thorn. I'm really, ugh. I can't get any of the strong style guys. So I mean, I guess that's just the hope for that is not going to work. I got to hope I draw like Mercy Killing and Kawasaki in my opening hand. That's like basically, I'll get Kai to, because if worse comes to worse, if she gets stuck with Brian Golem, I get a synergy there. If I can land her with, Mox, then I get a bonus. I mean, I guess that's the play. Two, three. So that's my, my six wrestlers here. Group, flip, drop. Group everybody together. Flip. 
shuffle them up. So, remember to do that. Put that big old die in there as a reminder. All right, let's see what we got here. Opening a six. That is a garbage opening. Oh, that sucks ass. Um, but I got card subject to change, so actually doesn't matter. So that's good at least. I can use I can use that. So we're just gonna throw these guys because it doesn't doesn't matter. All right. Does matter a little bit in that I only got I still have two signed wrestlers here, but. It's not a huge, not a huge deal. So I'm gonna play uh, card subject to change first and sh and switch this around, so I can at least I can. At least, this still sucks, but I'll at least do prodigy. Actually, that's a that's a near perfect match there, so that's not bad. Uh, and then I guess I guess I guess I'll do this. This still kind of sucks, but. It's it's worse. It's it's it could have been worse. It could have been worse. And then I still have two people banked for the next time around. So And then I'll intermesh and raffle. So I roll a six sided die and then gain twice the number rolled in money. Eight bucks. Okay. Boop. 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 Alright, so and then I get four dollars from ticket sales so I'll just take a fiver and throw that back and now for the actual money so I get four dollars here I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh, I forgot who in the group uh, first uh, thought of this I'm gonna do four dollars there no it's uh, six bucks Six. Six bucks. I'm trying to cheat myself. Four here. Four here. Four here. And four here. So ten. Twenty-two dollars. All right. Now we're now we're now the engine's rolling a little bit. So twenty. Two dollars. See, that's where the advantage of having the journeyman is is in, because you don't have to spend much, still get the money back on him. And this one kind of stuff. Like, that's the, that's the one problem with Mercy Killing, but with Mox Ambrosia, like, Mox Ambrosia and Mercy Killing almost kind of counterbalance each other and still give me a decent, uh, decent value there. So, 22 bucks. Clear all these. Come on now. And now for show quality, five buck or five five bucks, two, two. Always pains me to have to round down. That's like the the worst feeling in the world to me is when I have an uneven, an odd number match rating, average. Just drives me crazy. It's two, four, six, eight, thirteen. Thirteen will give me two rep. So at least it's moving, moving up better now at this point. So. Hopefully that keeps the snowball rolling. I'll probably try and get some more special announcements to try and uh, further supplement things. So, group these together. Keep these in the discard pile. Throw that over here. And then we still have two, two uh, signed wrestlers in our roster. I don't even remember who I had. Who did I have? Kaida and War Kawasaki? Okay. Well, I'm going to keep that in mind when I'm... Moving on to my next turn. Kaida Thorn or Kawasaki here. So we got two star power, two to three work rate. Okay. Two bucks for Montreal. I'm very proud of myself that I haven't forgotten that yet. Essex, Rain Dragon, Demi Weaver, there we go. Apollo Contra, Dizzy Gomes, Yonostide, Lech, the Nave. Federales, Aida Ojos, Anna Barcelona. This is not a great board either. <laughs> um, I mean, Demi Weaver's a lock. I gotta get her for two bucks. Blurp. 
Blurp. Come here, Demi. Whoop. Nippon Playboy. Free boy! Free boy! Now we're talking. Uh, Jaden Prince for two bucks is pretty sexy. I could go, like, Rain Dragon or something like that. I could, uh... I could draw a special announcement and hope I luck into a uh, convention weekend again. Alright. Let's get a special announcement. Five bucks. Two back. Hot crowd. Alright. Hot crowd is still pretty good. That is the old version of the card because we didn't have star totals anymore. It's match rating. I'll have to switch that art out. I feel like I did that already. I don't know. Whatever. I know what it means. Um, di -di 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 -di. Do I want to get another one? I guess I could get another one. I'll get another one. Huh. This card is called Hometown Prodigy, by the way. Title's up at the top. Everybody calls Rookie of the Year. Drives me crazy. <laughs> but that'll help uh, bump up my match rating a little bit. All right, so now I've got fifth. I've got twenty-five dollars. Yeah, I guess I did because I had the show. Oh, yeah, okay. And I only spent, uh, on wrestlers, I actually only spent $2 so far. Okay, I guess I can open up the purse strings a bit. I can, uh, I can throw down for Aido, uh, you know, a Rain Dragon. Uh, I wish. That the challenge is easily exploitable. This one that we're doing, or are we talking about the, the one I gave to, to Ed? Alright, um, we can open up the purse strings a little bit. Oh, we can get Genocide. Genocide for five bucks. We'll get Genocide for five bucks. Because he actually pays for himself. This challenge, how is it? Uh, I would love to, I, I'm interested to hear how, it, how it's exploitable. Doop. Oh, Jack Love. Oh, if I could get the, ah, Jack Love Genocide is slightly off, but I can make a buttload of money if I can pull that off. So I'll get him for six bucks. I'll get four back. One, two, three, four. Jack Love. Oh, Filipino Dave. I think we can get two more wrestlers. Can we get Filipino Dave and Rain Dragon? That'd be what five, six, eleven dollars. And then we have that much left over. Oh, host wouldn't really help. I don't have any five quality guys. Yeah, I mean, assuming that you can draw them, then yes. But as we can see, that's not easy to do. <laughs> like, you can't necessarily, like, I mean, unless you're doing the rules where you're doing, like, 15 of each. Um, then yeah, maybe. It's still, I don't think it's going to be as easy as you think. <laughs> uh, so I guess we'll go Filipino Dave. Well, we'll get, we'll get Filipino Dave and see if anything else pops up in the market. So Filipino Dave is going to be five bucks. Prescrito. Uh, yeah, I guess at this point then we'll just do Rain Dragon. And I guess we'll just bank this three dollars. This could be a pretty wild, uh, wild show if I get some decent draws. And we've got Hot Crowdy and Hometown Prodigy. So this could go okay. This is where we, this is where the, the Leffy might break and we might actually start to make some real, uh, real money and, uh, real, uh, VP here. Reputation. Yeah, I mean, it's doable. Uh, it's just a matter of, it's still tough. And even in that event, it's obviously not as powerful because you can't, you know, use, like, Orlando or Utica, you know, like any of the actual, like, wrestlers, uh, local supporting venues. But, I mean, if you can pull it off, then go for it, dude. I'm just going to lay these out here instead of putting them in my hand. Or, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, this is wonderful. All right. So this is the worst possible opening hand you could have gotten. So 
So then, what are we gonna have for our next match? Oh, good. Jack Love and Nippon. That'll bring the fucking hell. Pack the house in. Oops. Well, I guess I know we're not getting. And then, Rain, all right, at least Rain Dragon and Filipino Dave might have saved the day here a little bit. Not that I could draw the four, but it doesn't matter. What do I have? So I still have four wrestlers. No. One journeyman. Three wrestlers and one journeyman going into the next round. That sucks. Um, but, uh, yeah, the five local start hand is is the worst draw. It's worse than drawing six locals. Um, far and away. All right, whatever. It is what it is. We'll... we'll uh, We'll, we'll deal with it how we may. I ain't, I, I, I ain't getting first place in this league. We'll, we'll put it that way. <laughs> All right. So eight bucks from our reputation. Play after booking phase. Play after booking phase. All right. I just always want to check the timings of those. So booking phase. So hot crowd. Uh, we'll throw... Uh, it doesn't matter who we throw this on. So we'll throw home and hot project on that guy. Congratulations. Because you're on the... You're the picture. It's the newspaper. It's you. Good for you. All right. So, money. We got our eight bucks. And then for this, we got four, four. Got six bucks for this one. We've got seven dollars for this one. And we got seven dollars for this one. So, at least money is starting to work. So, ten, twenty-one, twenty-eight dollars. So... We're on turn four, right? Yeah. 20, five, six, seven, eight. And now for this, we gotta make sure we count that up. Actually, I probably should have checked to see if that will bump me into the, eh, it pretty much always bumps you in the next one. Fuck it. Dupe. All right. So now we got two, two, two. I mean, at least this worked out to a two quality match. And five. So 13 again. So at least that bumped me up another two. One, two. Still not great. Oh, and the, oh, and the three for that. Uh, so that actually uh, 13... Bumps me into the next one. So, 16. So, boop. So, that helped. That did help. Okay. Boop. 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 Chuck all these back. Let's clean these up. Alright. Got, what, 30, almost 40 bucks. Three wrestlers in the can. This could be worse. It's still not great. I'm definitely not going to get a uh, high score here, but that's okay. Flip. Actually, let me just keep my, oh Jesus, they on the top. Nope, they are in the goddamn middle of the deck, okay. So that's who we got to start off with. Turn five. Turn five. Okay, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Spend my two dollars for Montreal because I'm not a cheater. And markets. That's a good start. Murder doll. Celtic demon. Bud drinker. All right. Let's Mustang. Ricky Honda, Q Chews, Humor, Nagano, Toby. Alright, this ain't bad. This is we got some definitely some like quality to work with here. So we're gonna go Bad Moon Otagami. Dangan join the party. We're gonna go Ricky Honda for sure. Vile hell yeah, here we go. Just throwing, throwing them ducats around. Thunder Kitsune. We're going to do two bucks for Toby McCoby. Can I get a full 12? 
Let's see, I'm on seven now. I got five more to go. I got like 30 bucks. That's possible. I think I need to to get a uh, to get a decent uh, decent score. I think I gotta try and I gotta try and go for it. We'll see if I get a five local opening, then that just torpedoes my whole day. Uh, we'll spend three bucks on Dangan. Oh, mercy killing! Nice, glad you showed up. Scrito. All right, still got plenty of money. Plenty of money, but I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna get a uh, special announcement now. So we gotta get 17 bucks back. Oop. Oop. Card subject to change. All right. I'm gonna get another one. Uh, another hometown prodigy. Fine. Not ideal, but it's all right. Now I've got 16 bucks to get two more routes, which I definitely have. So now instead of just blindly getting uh, signing every purple and red person inside, I actually have to think about this. I think Huge Hughes is probably the best value right now. I don't have any four star power people. That's the only problem. Sam Mustang's not bad because he's three. I got a lot of twos and threes. I do need a four to match up with Demi, though. So I could go Prescrito or Celtic Demon. I think I'd rather go with Prescrito because he gives me more options for star power synergy if it comes down to it. So yeah, all right, we're going to go Prescrito. Throw a fiver away. And Bill Krieg, who is Prescrito number two. So, actually, I guess Prescrito is Bill Krieg number two. So, I guess, I mean, I could get a perfect match there. Uh, oh, Eric King. Do I want to... Now, you see, there is... Even though I can only use 12, there is value in getting them. Because then that kind of ensures me a little bit for next turn. Yeah, I'll get Erica for three bucks. And then that'll probably be it, unless, like, yeah, alright. More than I needed, but, like I said. And she's in style, so that, that can give me more, more options. And I've got card subject to change. I just, I really want to try and get out a full 12. Um... Full 12 signed wrestlers and no locals. We'll see if I can pull it off. I'm going to draw the hand now. Change my mind on that. All right. This is good. Uh, how good is it is the question. It's, this is pretty good. So War Kawasaki and Toby is a perfect match. Gets me four cards. Ah, uh, yeah. We're rolling now, baby. We are rolling. <laughs> Do I have any other perfect matches here? I got Vile and Kaida, but that doesn't get me any cards. But... Mm. Yeah, that does limit my options in terms of card drawing, though. I think I need... I need another card draw. Dangan. I think Dangan and Erica King is probably my next best matchup. So, let's see... Ricky, that's an odd. That's an odd. That's no synergy there. I guess this is the next best. I could card subject to change it around too. Actually, that's what I should be just just concerned about getting everybody out. I don't even need to think about it really. But I do want to make sure I get all of my cards. So we're going to buy Drinker and Ricky. We're going to Prescrito and Bill Krieg. That'll get me the last card that I need. Now, who do I want to leave behind? Let's see. I do have the two... 
the two two here in this and then let's see is there any guy who is like less than perfect I gotta think of like now I gotta like think about the whole fucking board and basically of like who do I want to leave behind no one's three I hear there's three there's a three Eric has a five. Five's not going to pair even with anybody. I think I'll leave Mercy Killing behind. So we're going to do Vile. That'd be a dope ass match. Um, Demi Weaver. Bad. Oh, what am I doing? That's, I'm stupid. I only booked five cards. I only booked five shows. <laughs> I for some reason thought I was booking six. Well, hang on. All right. That does still... Actually, that still works, because these are all beneficial for me for the next turn. So, that's still good, I think. Now, do I want to make it any better? So, that's about as good as it'll get. I don't have any 3-2s. I can save card subject to change for turn 6, then, that way, too. This is pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna burn it. And I don't need, uh... Hometown Prodigy, which may end up being a dead card because uh, I'm hoping that I don't need to do it anymore. So that's the problem, is that now I'm filled up in special announcements. So do I want to just effectively burn this so I can draw another one? Because obviously if I can hit like record attendance or some shit, like that's going to be the best case scenario. Um, and if I don't get rid of that I can't I have no chance to draw it I don't think I'm going to switch anybody around but I think I've got so I think I'm just going to burn this I'll just light it on fire card subject change move nothing because I need that extra that spot for like a hope I can draw a record attendance or, or some something crazy although that's risky because I could draw like a return engagement or so there's like a lot of dead cards for turn six but the one not dead card will be real, real beneficial if I can swing it. I think I, I, I never really thought of the ruling on this. I think I could technically just play it on. Eh, there's no local wrestler to target. I'm not going to play it. That would be kind of cheaty. Um, all right. So ticket sales. So seven. So I get 14 bucks to start off with. Uh, I'm just going to take 15 and then throw a buck back. Buck back. Lerp. And then for the actual money, so this is going to get six. This is going to get six. This is going to get. Can I do an eight with a mouse? Eight. This is going to get six. And this is going to go. Oh, man, I made a lot of fucking money this turn. The only problem with, like, uh, strong style is that you make a lot of money and then you can't really spend it, uh, especially in these kind of circumstances. I, I'm just going to have to, like, ball out, I think, in my last turn and just say fuck it and get as many just expensive wrestlers as I can to try and get the highest, like, rep show possible. So, 12 20 $32. Dollars, 20 30, 1, 2, let's range these, this is my uh, neuroses from my poker playing days, so if I have to keep everything in like even order, knock these bitches out, alright, now uh, show quality, this is going to be a banger show, this is 4, this is four. This is three. That match would be fucking crazy. Um, this is five. And this is three. So this is pretty good. <laughs> um, so eight, 11, 16, 18. 18. Just, just crack the, just crack the top. No, 19. Eight, 11, 19. Doesn't matter. Same thing. 19 gives me plus 4 rep. 1, 2, 3, 4. Which is going to be big for money. 
Now if I can hit a record attendance, that'll be helpful. It's also really unlikely. <laughs> uh, group. Lip. Got Mercy. Demi. BMG. BMO. BMO. So that's our start. And honestly, other than Demi, I kind of don't want to... Well, maybe Mercy Killing. I kind of don't... I don't want to play Bad Moon Onigami, honestly. Like, a two work rate is going to be not good enough for this last show. Like, this is going to... Like, really got to ball out here for this last show. I'm probably just going to get my uh, special announcement card right away, just so I know what I'm dealing with. Kite is back. Shoot up! Genocide. Squiddy Dodd, Hector Edwards, Rocksteady, Huge Hughes. Huge Hughes has been out like every turn. I really want to get him just because I like I like Huge Hughes a lot. Mary Murder. Alright. So let's let's just get the uh, let's just get the special announcement and get it out of the way. <laughs> driving buddy! Okay, driving buddy! Driving buddy, actually I can driving buddy into Kitsuo Shuda. That's actually really good. And I can draw another one. So this is this driving buddy was actually a really good one. Uh, so I think we're gonna get Ohos. We're gonna get Ohos and Shuda because then that'll open up two spots in the marketplace. Gives me Shuda for fucking free, which is outstanding. And then uh, and then lets me draw. That that was other than record attendance. That might have been the best card I could have drawn it, with this board specifically. Uh, we're just gonna throw in a tenor and get two back here. Ohos. Well, uh, actually no, three back because he calls seven. Two, three, get Shooter. That was actually a really good, really good card. Ted Babylon. <laughs> it's, it looks so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Alright, so now we'll draw another one, two, three. Whoop! Talent Scout! Eh, this is okay! And I get to get another one. This is actually good. Um, especially now because. Although, I, I do have to sign somebody from... Oh, reveal one of those and sign them and put the rest back on any order. I, I'm going to get Genocide anyway, so that's actually... That's fine. Um, even though he's, he's got low fucking work rate. But he's got high... He's, he's got high-ass money, so... Of these people, I probably would get him over anyone else. I mean, maybe Ted. Because Ted's a 6-4 for 7. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever. I, gotta, I still got to look at the top five here. So, top five. One. Two. Oh. Sakashinkin is probably going to be it. Oh. Or Sashimi Politics. I mean, they're all good. And I'm probably going to... I'm going to sign them all. Um, yeah, we're going to go with Hasako Shinkin for four. Now this is where I really don't want to uh, go over 10 wrestlers, I don't think. So we're going to put... Actually, no, we're going to... OMG, we want least. And then Sashimi Politics. So that helps. Now we're going to get another special announcement. See how much longer we can keep this luck going. These are actually useful things that have come up. Another driving buddy! Well. Ugh. I could genocide into Mary Murder. I could Ted Babylon into Kai to Thorn. Uh, but a Scurry Dot into Nagano is probably the play here, right? It's eight bucks, but that gets me a... Basically another Katsuo Shooter for free. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Alright, so driving buddy. I really don't like spending the eight bucks here, but we have the money to throw around, so Scrooty Dodd into Nagano. And then that gets out Sashimi and Mox. I've got spot for two more wrestlers. I'm gonna get another special announcement, so I got seventeen I gotta get back. Yeah. As a Ed Volan 
sentence structure there. Dee 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 dee. -dee. All right. Hup! Convention weekend. Oh boy. I get. I mean, I should. I should definitely use it because then that allows me to draw another card. But honestly, the wrestlers here I kind of like. I mean, I guess I could get Sashimi Politics, and then all these other ones are kind of middling. Because I only, well, I got, like, I only have one two work rate. I've got one three. Man, I don't know. I don't know if I want to say I want, I'm definitely going to convention weekend. But it's a question of whether or not I want to use Sashimi Politics first. Um, or get Sashimi Politics first. Or do I want to not I'll guess the Shimi politics because I need a little bit more insurance for card draw now I'll use my convention weekend group these all up actually I technically have to replace this so yeah I know OMG is going to be the first one here OMG Nave murder it all George or Jess Bell, I'm not getting... Thomas Crowley is a... Jack Love. Body count. Rude. Apollo Contra. Okay, again. It's probably going to be Thomas Crowley. Because he's a five. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because then I can... I have three, five, yeah. That's going to be a play. Because he's four bucks, too. Actually, before I do that... Uh, viral video, alright. Well, I'm definitely gonna meet the criteria for that shit. Uh, and now I'll get Thomas Crowley. I did spend a lot of money. Um, but I do think it's gonna be worth it. We'll see. Maybe I spent too much money, but... Alright. Screw. Flip. Roll, shuffle, whatever. After match rating phase, okay. Hope we don't play this. Opener, six. Oh my fucking god. Alright, well, this show's fucked. Boop, boop. Wow, that's absolutely awful. GG, everybody. At least this gets me four. And then I get... Uh, wow. Wow, that's fucking awful. I, I, I guess a Skuridad and Ojos have the Ingobernables fight close the show. Wow, that sucks so bad. That sucks so bad. All right. Well, whatever. That is so rough. Look at all the all, all these great fucking two just sitting on their ass back in catering while the fucking dork brigade runs my biggest fucking show of the Oh my god. I guess I can use my fucking hometown prodigy. We we'll use this on the murder fight. God fucking damn it. That'll get used on this, but that's not till after match training. Holy shit. Alright, well. Crash, burn, repeat. $22 for my... Man, stuff was going alright until then. Not great, but alright. Alright, money... I am shell shocked. Okay. Four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars. Seven dollars. Nine. This is fucking terrible. Eleven, nineteen, twenty eight dollars. Twenty. We'll do 30 and throw two back. We'll throw the second one back there. Uh, 
Oh, God. My, I have a headache now. <laughs> All right. Clear this out. Erase all drawn lines. Show quality. It's still not going to be bad. These guys have a four quality match. Journeyman has the fucking match of his life. Four. Two. Two. This is a four. And this is a six. And then the viral video gets tripped off. Oh, my ass. My ass, everybody. Uh, Sixteen... One, two, three, extra one, kill me dead, kill me goddamn dead, blurp, 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 all right, that was a 15, <laughs> there, all right, money total up for the final. Uh, so, that's, uh, 4, 8, 10, 11. So, 26. Not bad, uh, not great, by any stretch, but, it's okay. 26 bucks. None of my strategies worked. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get the 6 journeyman one that I wanted. I had two turns with five journeyman or with five local draws. Um, although I don't know, it was a lot of fun chaining through those special announcement cards. Uh, and man, oh god, if that last turn would have went off like as planned, god damn, that would have been hot. That would have been a hot show. I will. I might try this again. I might. I mean, I might try again. Maybe I'll try as hardcore just to see see what I get from that. I'll post one. I'll. I'll uh, go one from each and see, you know, which one will be highest. I'll try and do it that way. Um, but yeah, so that's my attempt. Uh, I hope all of you enjoyed. If this is your first experience with the game or you're checking this out to like, you know, see more about it, you can get this through our website, foamhammeringames.com. Uh, it is also available through Amazon. Um, if you have the choice, uh, it's preferable to get it through the website. We get a little bit bigger of a cut through it that way, but whatever works for you, uh, get it. And it's also totally free, ass free if you have Tabletop Simulator, which is going to be on sale from Steam through July 8th, I think, because of their summer sale. Uh, it's also on Tabletop Tabletopia, which is just straight up free. You know, I'm not as big of a fan of that interface, but it's it's free and a lot of people love it, so you can definitely use it there. Uh, we have a Discord as well, which you can find out if you know, just poking around or asking around, or I can po post a link for it in the description of this video on YouTube. Uh, so join in the league. Uh, if you're somebody who already has this game or, or is looking to get something else to do, I get a lot of um, comments from people who are like, oh, I like this game, but I can't, you know, I don't have any friends to play with because of pandemic or because of just... I can't get, you know, anyone else to get into it because they don't like wrestling or whatever. This is the perfect solution for that. Uh, and I, I got to give props to Kua for uh, coming up with the solo league. Uh, he's already told me some of the other things that are going to be happening down the line for the future weeks. And there's a lot of really cool ideas. We're actually working with him on one little surprise thing that will actually have bigger ramifications for the game at large. Um, so join the league. Uh, he has had a blast watching everybody post their scores and post their videos. And yeah, if you're like a YouTuber or like you have the right setup, like stream this, whether it's tabletop simulator or desktop, um, Warhorse and Dan, the Dan, Dan, the dad actually, uh, did a, a stream playing book it, not for the league, but just in general, uh, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed watching it. I think they're actually going to be doing it again next, uh, this coming Thursday as well. So, uh, check them out give them their, give them your support. Um, and that's it. Uh, I have to get ready to head out, go do some other stuff. But uh, thanks for joining me, and see you around. Bye.